Spring break crowds are feeling comfortable enough to get out for the first time since last year. They've been refilling North Texas parks and the attractions this week, making the most of the state's reopening. Let's get to our Jason Allen now with the story. The after lunch playground session at Fort Worth Trinity Park was packed. Energy levels were high, and so were comfort levels for parents out for the first school holiday with no capacity limits, no mask orders for the first time in a year. This is the first time that I've had all of them together that we could do something like this. Judy Teague had her grandkids up from Houston, finding things they could do together outside. On the other side of town, in the stockyards. Awesome. I love it. The Doman family was here from Kansas, out to see the herd. They also had medieval times and epic waters on the list and had planned to travel before restrictions were lifted, but. I'm glad that they did because it makes life a little more comfortable, a little more friendly. The Fort Worth Zoo, still limited to about two thirds capacity, has been filling all week. Six Flags is also still requiring reservations, but we could see good sized crowds. By no means is it back to normal. Fort Worth downtown, especially around Sundance Square, was still noticeably empty. The cultural district was quiet. But there have been more air travelers this week than the country has seen in a year, and spring breakers are finally feeling comfortable again. Yes, I'm definitely feeling that, most definitely. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen. CBS 11 News.